hello, once again, we're doing some Slay the Spire downfall. You know, I was really pleased with the amount of people that enjoyed and watched the previous uh, Slay the Spire downfall video. And the people have spoken and they say, Buhat, no more shoot, more card. That's what it says to me. So from now on, I will never shoot again. Oh wait, I will actually, as the hermit in this game. But no, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I know uh, many of you enjoyed watching. This is a really cool expansion. And I'm hoping that uh, today I can complete a run. Again, I've been playing this, but I've been playing the Switch version. And uh, so, you know, the new stuff is going to be a little bit wacky to me still. But yes, thank you for joining this here video. Wow. Bullhop. <laughs> That's what they say. I heard them. I did see some people say that they weren't crazy about the new, um, some of the downfall stuff. And I, so far, I haven't really seen too much to dislike, but, you know, we'll see. Gain eight block. Wait, what's this? The start of each game. Add a memento into your hand, right? Okay. Um, the start of... Oh, oh. Gain eight block. Apply weak. I'll try that. This character is all about order. which, as you can tell, is not 100% my specialty in this game. But, I mean, I'm working on it. Okay, got this dude. Still one of my favorite games. Like, not just on Steam, but maybe one of my favorite games, like, ever at this point. I wouldn't put it in my top ten. Because th those are, like, special, legendary type games for me, but... Whenever a debuff is applied to you, gain one strength. Interesting. Oh yeah, I had that last time too, but I didn't utilize it particularly well. Well, damn. I need, like, more, um... Deal 18 damage and apply 4 bruise to all enemies. Gain 1 less energy next turn. Oof. But, you know, I'm taking it. Do I want to... Oh, that gave me strength, actually. Oh, a lot of damage there. Uh... Hmm. Not the best option.
Deal seven damage. Dead on, deal double damage. Deal nine damage, draw two cards. Oh. Okay, but you then draw one less card. Gain eight block, dead on, upgrade two random cards for the rest of combat. Interesting. Okay, I usually take that curse. Um... Yeah, I'm not planning on... I mean, I'll, I'll... Maybe if the run goes really well, but right now I'm not planning on doing the thing. Uh, upgrade three random cards. What would be a good... I'm gonna upgrade Vantage in the hopes that I just continue getting good upgrades. It's like my strategies that I have for defeating some of these bosses just does not work as well. Yeah, that worked out pretty nicely. I'm gonna have to defend though. Hmm. I mean, it's with a card that gives you strength per negative. That's pretty great. I one weak to all enemies. And do no holds barred first, and then. Uh, I should have fucking applied vulnerable. Ah! And I was saving it for just such an occasion. Oh my god. At the start of your turn, lose 15 block rather than all of your block. Why well, one weak and vulnerable? Yeah. Happy flower. I like happy flower. Whenever you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Do like that too. Memento. God damn it. Bad order. Good order that time. Good order that time. Gain four plated armor, dead on, gain five gold, exhaust. Huh. Deal 18 damage to a random enemy, discard your hand. I'm gonna try scavenge. Oh man, apotheosis. I like that. Oh, ice cream! I'm too short for ice cream! Ice cream! <laughs> the bag of preparedness is good though. Um, I'm gonna get rid of... You know what? It's for the best to get rid of a card, but apotheosis is fantastic. Especially if upgraded. 
Lose 56 gold, obtain a relic. Uh. Oh boy. I'll, I'll obtain a relic from this. Climb a floor, gain 12 gold. Okay. Should have used Vantage Plus. Just to get that extra block, I, I just... You know. You know how it is. Deal damage equal to the size of your hand. Dead on, draw one attack. Huh. Sure. Love that apotheosis. I haven't had a run with that in a while, too. Oh, you fuck. You, f you gotta be fucking. Deal 24 damage, dead on, gain 20 block. I mean, it's a yellow. I like yellow. Let's see if I can slime it up. Okay, decent start. damage. Oh, that, that would have been a good first one to use. I get to keep a bunch of my block. I forgot about that. Bad order again.
I mean, this stuff is going to really matter at higher prestige levels, or even just later on in this game. Love that flower. That's a cool flower. All right, not bad. Bounty, normal enemy, 15 gold. Elite enemy, 40 gold. Boss enemy is 100 gold. That's interesting. Deal 8 damage, X times. If fatal, get a bounty. Huh. I like it. a unique curse and three relics. Well, I don't like the curse of the bell, but whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Whenever you play ten cards, draw one card. You can no longer become frail. It's not my favorite thing to get, but considering I can now exhaust curses, it's not too terrible. Twelve times three. That's gonna just fall just short. This is much smarter of a thing to do. Hey, that worked out pretty great. I don't want to waste a potion, but I'm wasting a potion. Deal 18 damage. Causes one less per striker defend played this turn. Interesting. Situational, but I think very, very unique. That's not going to be enough. It's fucking ghost in my living room. Worth it for the block.
Nice. Oh, and I got a bunch of gold for that, too. Draw all of your strikes and defends. Exhaust. <laughs> that, that could be really useful with a couple different combinations. Remove all curses. Wow. I can't remove the bell because that one's unremovable, however. I know I'm probably not doing the meta. Worth it for the extra gold. You can retain fully loaded when it's upgraded. See, now short fuse is free. Oh, these damn things. <sighs> seems to have been the best play. I, I have never struggled so much with these things. Wow. In too rugged... Reduces two next instance of attack damage taken to two. Gain two vulnerable exhaust. I'm going to take that because I can use that to also gain strength. Oh, well, I got a yellow... What's this? A rare card. Gain one rugged, increase the cost of this card by two this combat. Eleven times three, it's thirty-three. I'm gonna use this opportunity to, uh, get that buff going.
dead. Beautiful. Still have rugged already. Oh, good. Despacito. Oh, desperado. Deal ten damage. Doubles this, this card's damage. This combat. It costs one more. I'm probably adding too many cards to my deck, but some of this stuff just sounds really good. to work now. Okay. Worth. I think that was worth it. That was perfect. Overwhelming power. Gain three energy, draw three cards. Whenever, whenever you end your turn with zero energy, you lose four HP. Huh. What? Question is, why am I getting that? <laughs> oh, that's, that's a little scary. Start each combat with two metallicize. I like that. Um, I'm gonna rest here. Deal six damage. Did on has gained three strength. Oh, I got I, too many cards, but that's such a good one. Wrong order. Wrong order. I don't want to end with zero energy, right? Oh, that's like for the whole fucking... For the whole rest of the game? Or, or the, the um, combat? I want to find out. Yep. Yep. And Rugged does not prevent that from happening. Oh boy. Yeah, that that's like an emergency... item. forgetting about that. Oh man, that's going to be that's going to be awful if I use that as much as I want to.
His hand is too big. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP. Start each combat with 10 block. I like that one. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, other curse that I have. Oh wait, can I? No, I can't. Never mind. Uh, we'll get rid of a strike. You know what, I'll get rid of a defend, because I have a bunch of defend. Get the bandage card. Lose 2 HP. That's a lot better. I just have to hope for Apotheosis a lot. Um, I'm going to recall the Ruby Key here, and, and hopefully I'll get one here. Yeah, I'm, we might be able to go for Oh, this is a good, good start. Yeah, that's a really good start. Alive would have been nice. Oh boy, I'm gonna be. Oh boy, I didn't realize how much damage I was gonna be taking here. Oh wait, like almost none because of rugged. Not liking the health situation. Okay, it's gonna be fine. Damn, that was a fucking weird one. Eternal form 
First four playable cards drawn at the start of each turn cost cost one less that turn. Getting kind of lucky with these uh, with these gold cards. Oh man, apotheosis would have been a really nice start. First four playable cards drawn at the start of each turn cost one less. Well, that's you know that's how we're gonna start this thing. Not bad, not bad. Six strength is pretty good, too. I, mean, I could draw some more cards, but... I just have to, uh, keep going. Overwhelming power, yes, please. Three of these. By two weak, that's really good. Got very lucky there. Should have fucking applied the vulnerable. Uh, you know what? It's not too late. There you go. Wow. Wow, look at all that block. I'm not even going to lose most of that. I still get to keep some of it. That worked out pretty great. I wonder if you can double up on ethereal form. What about overwhelming power? I don't think I want to double up on that. Get another one of those, though. Those are pretty good. Replaces old locket. First time you draw a curse each turn, exhaust it and draw two cards. Oh, um, you know what? I don't need to smith anymore because we have apotheosis. So, I'll just get the free energy. It's free real estate.
take some damage there. Again, waiting for Apotheosis is the real problem. There it is. I don't want to use that, because then I'm going to take spike damage. Oh, that motherfucker! I didn't realize he was going to do that much damage. Oh my god. <sighs> god damn it, I had no idea I was in for that much damage. You would think I would know these things by now. Yeah, the problem is, um, losing that health is not good for me right now, but... At the same time, I also get strength for using that card. Apply five bruise to all enemies. Bruise does not wear off this turn. I want to peep the horror. Become cursed with writhe. Ugh. Alright, fine. Alright. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all enemies for each dead on effect triggered. Just gonna get rid of this shit. Which leaves me with not enough money to really do anything. Okay, that rugged is going to save me. A bit. I I'd still, I'm... Yeah. Yeah.
All right, that'll do. I mean, I do get way more powerful as the match goes on. Worth it. Come on, it's so close. Oh, man. Right. Well, I was lucky I was able to block all that. Whenever you add a power into, uh, card into your deck, upgrade it. Put the first two dead-on cards triggered each turn back into your hand. Deal 11 damage, draw three cards. Uh I almost don't want to add more cards to the deck. Now I get it. I mean, I'm lucky I was able to use it. Oh, no! Oh, no, shit, fuck. Bullshit. That's such horse shit. Oh, wait, I have Rugged. Oh, I'm so happy I used Rugged earlier. Jesus. using it. That saved me. Mm, bad order. Adapt plus. At the start of your turn, you can exhaust a card to gain eight block. Ah. Uh, it's better for when you have a bunch of curses, I think. Choose a card, it costs zero this turn. Yeah. Got the keys. Ancient tea set. Whenever you enter a rest site, start next to combat with two energy. I like that. Don't want to go for another boss. I'm going to go for another boss. Oh, really good start. I got all my best shit.
Okay. Rugged is going to come in real handy here. That didn't gain strength. There you go, there's the strength. Damn, all that energy gone. Still have Rugged. Got one more Rugged. Hmm. Nice. And I got a fuckload of gold for that. Every six turns gain one intangible. That's gonna save me. This card, six cards. For each card, deal five damage. Play one of the top five cards in your draw pile. Dead on also triggers dead on effect. Huh. That dead eye would be great to get right about now. Damn. Am I going to die here? Looks like I'm going to die here. Yeah, I don't think the 8 block is going to save me. Oh my god! Now I'm going to die. Tell you what. That's some really... That was some unfortunate shit. I was going to say I didn't have the best potions. But... And I didn't because I was holding on to a potion that basically did the same thing as Apotheosis. Uh, but even so, that was unfortunate. Well, damn. 
Ah, it's a shame too, because that was I was enjoying that. I'm gonna do another one. Even with all that luck, I still couldn't couldn't pull through. Uh, deal 9 damage, draw 2 cards, next turn draw 1 less card, deal 13 damage to a random enemy, shuffle a clumsy into your draw pile. I don't really like any of those cards, but let's do low. Start your turn, upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat. Do low profile. Awful cards. Losing HP. Not good. Uh. Deal double damage. Uh, I can do double damage. It's a pretty simple card, but effective. Like, right there. Very effective. Put one card from your exhaust pile into your hand. It costs zero this turn. Reduce each of your debuffs by one. Draw until you have three cards worth... Energy? Huh? Fuck that card. How do you even fuck a card? Just barely enough. At the start of your turn, draw two cards and add an injury into your hand. Oh boy. Okay, this is gonna be terrible, but I'm gonna try it. I don't think it adds an injury every single time. Like, are, are there just gonna be, like, stacked amounts of injuries? Because I, I would really fucking hope not. Oh my god. <laughs> it's exactly that. Oh no. Okay, I need a card that's gonna take care of that. Immediately.
Gain six block, retain up to two cards. Deal four damage to random enemy three times. Shuffle a doubt into your draw pile. Yeah, why not? Just get a million curse cards. Uh -oh. uh, why not? Deal ten damage. Mm. Fruit, fruit juice. Innate. Oh boy. I need some kind of curse killing card. I think I'm going to rebrand my YouTube channel to Mr. Sauce. Mr. Sauce, and I'm just going to give away burgers and other random things. Just just buy stuff and do giveaways every video. And that way, that way I can stop speaking because words are not coming out of my mouth properly, so never mind. Interesting strikes deal more damage. Start each combat with one strength. Whoa. Really good luck there. Okay. The next dead on card played while concentrated triggers its effect regardless of position. Maintenance plus sounds good. This is going to get shitty. There's going to be, by the time I'm done with this fight, everything's going to be an injury. I kind of have to block here.
Uh, more injuries, yes. Well, my strikes are worth a ton now. Oh, God, that's a lot of injuries. Boy, I, I really want to get rid of those. You've heard me say that many times, but how true that is. That was a waste of a potion. I don't even know why I did that. Next turn. More damage is needed. That's it. Oh god, all these injuries. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god. This run is going so well. Whenever you play a strike or defend, draw a card. At the start of your turn, you can exhaust a card to get eight block. Wish it wasn't. I mean, that's really good, but I wish it didn't cost three. Reduce the cost of your most expensive card by one this turn. Yes. If I upgrade that it'll end up being a one-cost card, which will be really good. Be really good. There it is. It's already a one-cost card. Wait, why did it reduce twice? Huh. I'm okay with it, but it's a little weird. It's free block, and it offsets the, uh, the, the injuries. damage in block. <laughs> ah.
Deal nine damage, dead on. Reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by two this turn. Whenever a debuff is applied to you, gain one strength. I think I, I like that. That was useful before. Mango raises max HP. Oh, because it was upgraded. That's why it got uh, reduced down to one. these motherfuckers I'm not going to be able to kill more than likely. No, it still happened. Yeah, powerful strikes. Powerful swim swims. I'm so sorry. Uh, gain five block. All enemies lose two strength. Deal damage equal to your hand size. You have big hands. <laughs> you know what they say about cowboys with big hands, right? Big horses. Almost got to kill that round. Start of each combat, add a random power card into your hand. It costs zero for that turn. I, I like that book. I'm very okay with that book. Gonna upgrade it. Adapt. Adapt. Obtain relic, of course. And, uh... Yeah, while I'm obtaining the relic, of course, I'm going to, uh... Get myself good and pulped. I want to get extra strength. I'm going to lift. Yeah, I'm going to lift. Prices are reduced. Beautiful.
button. Ow. Ow. I don't know if that one strength was worth not resting. I keep forgetting to use my goddamn vulnerable. That gold card is nice, but I don't know if it's good for this build. Become Cursed Decay. Oh boy. Well, that's death, so I have no choice here. We have to take that curse. Sure do have a lot of curse cards. Oh man, ice cream? I don't think I'm going to be using ice cream. I ice cream is one of the best... Served. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, ice cream is one of my favorites to get. Hmm. Do I need it? So I was just looking at my phone for a second. Um... Whenever you play 10 cards, draw one card. I'm gonna get ice cream. Maybe I'll use it another time. Put the first two dead-on cards triggered each turn back into your hand. Nice. Nice. Whenever you trigger a dead on effect, your next four your next attack deals four more damage. Hmm. I'm gonna lift, even though something tells me I should have rested. debuffs by one. Does that mean I lose less? Hang on. Yeah, I lose less health now. That's really good. Should have blocked. It's fine. Oh no! 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 Nope. Never mind. 
No, 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 never mind. Ah, oh, fuck. Choose a card to add to your hand? No. <laughs> no, fuck. Why did I do that? Could have saved up. Use the ice cream. All these fucking things I have here. Okay, debuffs removed. I mean, the amount of strength I have, plus maintenance, is pretty crazy. Wow. Amazing. Maybe this isn't that bad of a run. Oh, eternal form. While your HP is at or below 50%, gain uh, energy and draw one card at the start of your turn. Yep. It's gonna be down there quite a bit. Fatal Desire... Again, okay. Need to use the other fatal desire. I kind of don't think I do. What could go wrong? lot, actually. That's not a great thing to be doing. Hey. Not bad. Become cursed. Fucking curse cards. Use a power card. Okay, what power card do we want to start with? Adapt plus. Or eternal form. Hmm.
eternal form. Oh boy, I have two eternal forms now. Oh boy. I'm just gonna ha look at all of this is free. Free cards are nice, but I need to be able to block. Really just keep forgetting to use that. My best moment. More maintenance? Yeah, we're going to get more maintenance. That sucked a bit. Having trouble. Ugh, only one. I'm just having trouble, like, building damage. The strength eventually happens. I needed that fatal desire early on. I have 11 energy. <laughs> what am I gonna do with all this shit? I mean, it'll be good for boss battles. Continue blocking. Just lots of blocking. There 
we go. Took long enough. Deal 15 damage at a strike plus to your hand. Exhausts. More strikes. I'm good with that. Just not on YouTube. That really hurt. Here we go. There we go. If only I could carry that block over. Boy, that was a mistake. Actually, no, it's fine. <laughs> 99 block, I'm fine. I mean, this is a boss killer build, it just takes a little while to get there. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, gain 2 block. Put 2 random attacks from your discard pile into your hand, they cost 1 less this turn. No. More maintenance. Shadow Cloak. Whenever you draw or exhaust a curse, gain four block. Only I had one extra energy. Like that. I just basically, you just have to survive. Which I don't believe I will be doing. Nope. God damn it. Couldn't even get to the final boss. Alright, well, I do have to go. Uh, you know, I'll probably add more to this. So this will be longer than an hour and a half. I'm just gonna, um, go now and then, you know, I'll be back. In, like, just a second with more Slay the Spire. Hopefully I'll actually complete a run. <sighs> that would be nice. But thanks for watching so far. Expect a little bit more. And, uh, we will Slay the Spire. Or at least... The boss.
Okay, we're gonna do more of this. But you know, this game still does not play nice with XSplit. I have to use OBS for this one. And I have plenty of my own issues with OBS. Just, you know, just saying. Um. Hmm. Well, I'll get determination. I am determined to finally complete a run of this with this character. Uh, yeah, this is the next day. That was not the best time to use that, was it? You know, I like the music in this game. I feel like it could use a little bit of a volume boost. Much better. Yeah, I don't like um, how much damage I've taken on the first battle. Ah, uh, first battle. What is going on here? At the start of your turn, concentrate. Next dead on, played while concentrated triggers its effect regardless of its position. Okay. So we're gonna take an injury. You know what? That's probably going to be a restart. This run feels cursed. Like this is this is a highly cursed run. I mean, I'm still going to try, but oof. That would have been a good time to use the memento. <clears throat> Look at the clown. It, it is me. I was the clown. Gain energy up to your maximum exhaust. It's new, I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> wow, we're down to seven health and I have to fight a boss. I- it's- it's over. Bad order, doesn't matter. Alright, let's restart. That's a shame. I got this this time. And yet, I can do prestige like eight. With the other characters. And yet, for some reason, this character is just tripping me up. At max HP. This character, like, teaches you how to, um... do better order, I think. Because that is, uh... like, an actual issue that I have sometimes when I play this game is playing cards in the wrong order. Uh, 
Um, it's not going to help me do damage, but... Uh, yes. Give me the shitty card. Very nice. Give me the shitty cards. Don't know why I said that like that. That was weird, but you know what I mean. That wasn't going to do it. Pistol whip wide open. Look at pistol whip. extra block from Pistol Whip, too, if you use that card in conjunction with it. This is gonna be the run. Looks like we're going for a big bruise deck. It's possible. It's possible. We're going for a big bruise deck. Add an impending doom at the end of your turn. Deal 13 damage to everyone. Unplayable. Um, has to be dead on, though, I think. Yeah. I mean, it works. Walks midnight. That's where it walks. Boy, I really, and I should have did the memento. Yeah, Impending Doom is really good if you have a big block deck. But can be a problem otherwise. Oh, that would have been a good time for Vulnerable. That's okay. Fight is over. Your first attack, each combat deals 8 additional damage. Worth it. Smoking barrel. Your next attack deals four more damage. That doesn't seem like a lot. I don't know how I feel about that card.
die, fungal beast. Deal seven damage. Repeat on a random enemy for each dead on effect this turn. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the store. Raise max HP. And remove a card. It seems like a good... You apply a debuff to, to an enemy, they take five damage. Debuff. We'll remove a strike. Now, if only you could remove strikes from your, your YouTube channel. Oh, good jo joke. is really good. Magnum. Discard six cards for each card. Deal five damage. I'm gonna get Magnum, even though I'm not sure... Seven damage. I mean, it's maybe probably not the best synergy for me right now, but I almost don't mind. There's the Magnum. Yeah, it's really, really good on one target. And with extra strength, it would be amazing. Vantage is a good card. Amazing start. Oh, that was a lot better. I thought I was going to do, like, tons of damage to me. Vantage would have been a better card to use for that.
Nice. Nice. Boy, I really should have blocked there because I am about to die. Why didn't I not, um, why, why did I, I do that? I went too fast and I was not fucking paying attention and I wasn't thinking. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Non-existent chat, I feel like a turd burglar right now. I can't believe I did that. You, you just can't go that fast. You have to slow yourself down and pay attention. Ugh. Man... I got the good face. I don't really remember what that does, but... It's fine. It's a little early to get a shop. Okay, so I think the the thing eventually does something. Yeah, I'm not going to double snapshot. It's an event item, I'm pretty sure. Dive. Boy, we're, we're just getting curses and we're getting stuff. This is an enemy that You have time to prepare, but um, you, you you can really get your ass handed to you with this enemy. Like this early on, if you're not careful. Oh, eight damage. Why would I do that and not the eight? Turn, I use it. Fuck. Getting a lot of plated armor, at least. But da dive would have been- Dave? Dive would have been a better choice there, too. What? Why am I, like, rotten as fuck at this game? I 
told you this enemy can be a pain in the ass this early on. Locks do almost nothing now. <laughs> Blood vial. Deal 18 damage if fatal. Permanently reduce this card's cost by one. Exhaust. Interesting card. I kind of really want to see what that's all about. Oh, now it costs two. I love it. I want to get another golden bullet. I want a bunch of zero-cost cards. Gain energy every time you play ten attacks. I'll take it. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for a boss right now. Um... Costs one. I'm gonna do the store. Ice cream. Cost of your X cards is increased by two. That would have been nice earlier. It would have been nice if there was a way to make this card not exhaust, but that would have been way too cheesy. Like, that's just dangerously cheesy. Every time I see the golden bullet, to me it looks like, a, like, uh, bread. It's like a baguette, you know? Now it's free! Oh, look at that! That worked out nicely. I don't think I'm gonna heal up for this one. Famous last words, perhaps?
Now, is that a permanent minus two strength? I'm asking like there's a chat here, but... Yeah, I think it is. Well, that's incredibly useful. I don't know why I did that. Why am I blocking on a turn? I don't need to block. Crazy. Yeah, that might... Uh, no, it's not permanent. Minus two strength. Permanent. Permanent, permanent. This time I'm gonna actually try to not get myself killed by accident. Wow, I almost did, too. That's amazing. That's amazing. Because the motherfucker gets strength. Oh boy, I have to do that, otherwise I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die anyway. Hmm. Well, I'm not restarting. Or I'm not, uh, reloading. I like how I said I wasn't gonna get myself killed, then I made a decision that got me killed in the long run. It, that's just, like... That's just unbelievable. I'm gonna go again. <laughs> I'm gonna go again! I don't know if I can upload this without having completed at least one run. Upgrade a card. Snapshot. It's not a huge upgrade, but it's something. Bad order! Bad order! I'm fine. Doing fine. No problems here whatsoever. At the start of your turn, apply three brews to all enemies. Memento plus snapshot equals more block. I don't know why I don't use that more. Hit dive again.
Gain four plated armor, dead on, gain five gold. Let's upgrade Brawl. Five brews. Sounds sounds good. Huh? What? Oh no, I wasn't in the middle. Oh no. And I'm not even live. I don't even have the excuse that I'm looking at chat or something. <laughs> Exhausted the slimes. Magnum. Gonna upgrade Magnum. Cleat. I got the cleat. Fine, I'm gonna rest here. I'm upset because I had that thing, you know? I had the thing, the, the mask. First time you lose HP in each combat, draw three cards. Good Magnum. Uh, determination. Will anger the mushrooms. Oh, I should have used that card to get the stuff, you know? Stuff. Or I could have used Snapshot and done more damage. I, once again, going too quick. Vulnerable take 25% more attack damage rather than 50%. Oh. Receive a reward based on the offer. Take a strike. for extra gold, I guess. That 
was a good turn. That horn cleat is going to be very helpful. And also because I like saying horn cleat. Apply three bruise to all enemies. Bruise does not wear off this turn. That's going to be great. It's a good synergy. Going to increase that. Buff time. It's buffing time. Fifteen brews. Wow, dead. Wow. That was amazing. Um, uh, noon. I don't have any curses. I'm not going for a big curse deck, so... Adapt and Final Canter are not gonna work for me. I think... High Noon, I, I guess. Remove two cards. Uh, I'll just do this and have enemies start with extra strength Tylenol. That's fine. This path is very, very linear, and yet it has the most question marks. So, I do like that, but I think I'm gonna go this way. So dead. Skip that card. The gold idol before, but not now.
That's the play, is just saving up for Magnum. <laughs> the start of your combat, draw two additional cards. Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply vulnerable. That's, that's a good synergy. I think both of those. Ah, uh, the fairy in a bottle would have been nice too. That needs to go, because that cultist dude gets more powerful every time. Wonderful. I'm gonna go for a quick draw because uh, I like having a lot of choices with cards. Um, yeah, High Noon would be much better if it would only cost one. Now I can actually justify using it. draw those cards, but... oh well. The little fella needed to go. Waste of a magnum, mind you. Wow, good. I didn't even... Wow. I didn't think we were going to do that much damage so quickly. Start each combat with one 
attack. Strike, steal three more damage, and gain one dexterity. Apply one weak and vulnerable. Glare is really good, too. I gotta get glare over maintenance. And I'm gonna do the smart thing. I'm gonna rest up. Ocean belt. Ooh, apply one vulnerable at the beginning of combat. I like that. At the end of your turn, you may shuffle one of three random cards into your draw pile. Sounds good. Start each combat with three strength. I really like that. I mean, this could get silly. The decks could get huge. Big decks. Great turn. Amazing. Apply vulnerable. Hell yeah. I'm going to rest again because I would like to actually win a run. Termination, Brawl, Glare. Um, wide open for the extra vulnerable. Oh, another Brawl, hell yeah. Brawl. Piss off, orb. Showdown, huh? Double shore and use the block potion. Thirty damage strikes. Holy shit. It's Magnum time. First four playable cards cost one less. I love that one. Gain energy and add a slimed into your discard pile at the start of your turn. 
Press time two times to use a potion. Each combat, gain a random potion. You can only use two potions each combat. I'm gonna, um... Go for the slimed. Each turn? Oh, that could be a problem. Uh, I can discard some of them. But having five energy is really nice. I can do shit like that. That early on. I think it's only one time you, you add the slime. I think. Ah, Magnum. Goddamn Magnums. Oh. Too much damage. Still more too much damage. That'll do. cards, yeah. Ah. Uh, it's fine. Damn. Whenever you play a power card, heal 2 HP. That's really useful. Deck is huge. Fight a boss from Act 1. 
or a rare relic is always a good choice in my opinion. Glare. Almost dead already. Almost. I want that rare relic. I don't even know what it's going to be, but I want it. Gambling chip. At the start of each combat, discard any number of cards, then draw that many. It's a very good one. In fact. Shop. And then there's another shop. Whenever an enemy dies, gain energy draw. Oh, discount. Hell yeah, discount. Um, I'll get rid of a strike. Use a skill, start each combat with this card in your hand. Um. Oh, I regret that now. Definitely regret that. I needed to start with a power and not a skill. This vantage for the upgrades. The gremlin horn would have been a better choice. I guess we'll go this way since we don't need another shop. Better defend. Many, many cards. Ah, eternal form. Can't get that card in the middle.
What am I going to do drawing three cards? Oh, it's this turn. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh, man. You can't do more than one damage to this enemy on this turn. I'm gonna take some damage here. Fuck. Guess I could have used a power card to uh, get a little bit of health, but. Um, we get another horror card, just so we can start chaining things together. Yeah, Vantage maybe wasn't the best choice. Because it's always going to be here. to figure out how I'm going to kill these without taking damage. I mean, damage will be taken no matter what, pretty much. So I need lots of block. It's an easy turn. Cards to, with which to use. I don't want to go for the spire. I just want to. I just want to win a run. I can. I can take that shitty card. Lose all gold, obtain a relic. Yeah, it's fine. Every enemy gets weak on the first turn. Sounds good.
That worked out perfectly. Put two random attacks from discard pile. Horror, horror, and strike. Mental. I think we can go for another boss for a relic. I'm gonna try. We're gonna writhe and Deadeye for some extra strength. Choose three cards to retain. Mm, eternal form. I don't know if I want to do that because we have a big attack coming. But then again, it's not the worst attack. It is fine. Oh wow, it wasn't that fine, in fact. I didn't realize that enemy was going to do that much damage. Why didn't I look that way? I'm fine. How did that not kill this motherfucker? I thought for sure it was dying. Oh, man. Down to half health again. Come on. I know I ended up playing this like a dumbass. Yeah, I, I went too fast again. I'm just gonna go to the store, even though there's really nothing I can buy. Could remove a card. Could get a potion. Just anything that could maybe keep me alive would be nice. Just get a couple potions. And we're gonna rest. 
Okay. I'm going to be taking some damage here, but I think it'll be worth it. You know what? Distilled Chaos it is. High Noon Horror and... Oh, perfect. Stack some bruises. Some more horror on there. Plated armor. Perfect timing on that glare. Not bad. Twenty-seven brews. Thirty-two brew. Oh, Magnum. All right. Remember, there's another phase. Block. I can't really use the Magnum. I'll retain it. Especially if next turn we get some extra bruise going. Vulnerable. Oh, 41 block is amazing. Place a free slime with one that I have to spend money on. Very, very good. Ugh. Oh, what, what is this poop? Just awful.
dead. Well, I finally did it. New cards. Cursed weapon. Deal damage equal to your missing health. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I really like this character. So, anyway, I did it. I completed a run with the, the character here. The hermit? The stranger? I don't know. Regardless, it was fun. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And, uh, have a good one, everybody. I don't know when I'll return with this, but there's clearly more stuff here that I would like to see. So, at some point, I will. And that's Slay the Spire, Downfall. Which, as people were saying, it is my downfall, because I'll be playing more of this game yet again. But no, goodbye. Thank you, everybody. See ya. We will slay the spire again one day.